Hi. Um, just hold on. Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to English with Alice. And if this if this is your first time, I would like to say that the um the reason why I came up with the idea of this live session is because I would like to encourage those who are fear to speak English to be confident to speak English whether it's right or wrong. You know, it's just a matter of communicating. So, um, today I have you, my special guest. Please welcome Nong Thai Tan. I I think he is here. Um. Hi. Hi. What do you have? Yeah, this. What do you have? What do you have? Oh, let me manage this thing a bit. Um. Okay. Hi. Hi. First of all, I just like to say I'm a really big fan of English with Alice. <laughs> I really respect what you do. I think it really helps people to speak English. Yeah. Thank you, and I'm <laughs> glad that you are um, other fans of my yeah. live section and also um, accept and say yes to be here. Yes. Yeah. So um, yeah. let's shall we start? Yes, sure. I'm ready. Um, <laughs> could you please introduce yourself a little bit? Um, my name is Tai Tan. Um, I'm 21 years old, and uh, I like making music. <laughs> That's it, I guess. Okay, okay. Um, we're gonna start from um since you were young. Yes. Um, your stories of your path. Uh, uh, which school did you go to? Um, I went to Shrewsbury International School. So I studied in in international school since I was four. Four years old. Uh huh. Yes. And so you have been studying English since then. Yes, and I was born in the uh, I was born in the states as well. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And 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 did you um uh how how long did you spend your time in the state? Um, only until I was like two or three, and I moved back here. Yes, I like Thailand more though. <laughs> Um, but then, um, the language that your father and mother speak to you is in English, or Thai. Um, sometimes, some both, a bit of both, yeah. Uh huh. But how come? How come they choose to um, give birth in the state? Um, my um, my mom had her master degree in um in the states, and my dad was working there as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So after four years that um, you were resident in the state, they decided to move back to Bangkok. Yes, but I wasn't really living there. I w it was more of like back and forth, and and based in Thailand. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Um, and then you um study in international school. How was yeah. your English when you were kids? Um, I don't really remember to be honest, but I think it was fine. <laughs> Because my mom spoke English to me a lot when I was younger. Ah, I see, yeah. I see. And 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 at school, your friends, most of them are from um, other countries. <laughs> no, Thai? most most of my friends are from Thailand, and I I barely speak any English with my friends. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> But you enjoy using English yeah. at home and yeah, at school. I, I do, I my, mainly I watch um I watch videos in English and that's why I think, but I don't really speak English to my friends. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, how was your experience of learning everything in English since you were young? Um, to be honest, I I think I'm quite used to it because if you if you hear it when when you're younger. I think it makes it a bit easier. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I'm pretty much used to it now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And at that time, what were your favorite subjects? 
Um, I don't really remember, but when I but when I started growing up, I liked uh, maths and phys physics. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. That happens when you were uh, when you were at high school, right? Yes, high school, high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about English? No? Um <laughs> I I kind of I kind of hated to uh reading. <laughs> I do, I don't like reading at all. I just like listening to music and listening to like podcasts and stuff. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Is that the way that you keep practicing your English skill as well in terms of listening? I, I think so because I listen a lot more. I don't. I don't really read. I don't like reading. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. And who else do you use English in terms of speaking? You, you said that you speak to your mom. Oh, and um, just like the teachers in school, and um, I think that's it. Like some some of my friends were uh, weren't Thai, but most of them are Thai. So. Mm -hmm. We spoke mm -hmm. Thai a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when you were at high, uh, when you were at high school, what was your dream job? Um, I've always wanted to be a musician or like an artist. Like since I, you were young. Like, yes, I played the piano since I was three years old. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, that was so young. <laughs> yes, that's um. At first, um, um, I didn't like it, and I I begged my mom to quit. And then she told me, um, like, I'll thank her one day. And I feel I, I really I don't I don't know how to thank her today. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I used to study piano, and I did give up because it's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's unemployed. Yeah. Yes. Go on. Sorry. I mean, I mean, at first I do enjoy it, but then um, I think. I I cannot remember how many times that I I I I've studied, but and but then at a certain point, I feel like it's too hard to balance mm -hmm. everything and how to control your left hand and right hand. I I kind of understand that because for me, it started to get fun when I I could play uh I could play songs that I knew or I could like create my own songs because before I I played only classical music and it mm -hmm. was so so to be honest I didn't I didn't like it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's like you have to learn it to do other things so mm -hmm. I had to do it mm -hmm. what inspire you to um for your dream job to become a musician what is your inspiration uh, um, I actually don't know as well I just I just like spending time doing music and when I'm free I always listen to music and I used to be so obsessed like um, if I had to go out, out of my house and mm -hmm. my earphones ran out of battery I wouldn't go out of my house because I couldn't listen to music <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay yeah. um that's what what we, um, your dream job since you were young and how did it all happen in terms of entertainment um so when i was 11 i think we had like uh, an audition to enter gmm tv so mm -hmm. yeah that was the starting point and mm -hmm. from then i i was trained to be in a boy band for three years three which, years of training yes three years of training Ooh. and then i met i met you <laughs> during that stage yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then um, you become a boy band. And then um, after that, I went into a bit of acting, and then I went to study in the UK. Yeah, how yeah. come? I mean, like, what happened to the to your career path in terms of you have become a singer, which is like <laughs> the dream come true. <laughs> yeah. Um, how was that experience, by the way? It was great. Um, I had a lot of fun and I learned a lot of new things. But at the same time, um, I still wanted to do something else. I still want. I still felt like my dream isn't fulfilled yet. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I'm. I just want to keep on like try doing new things and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 during that time, um, that you are in the band, you have to dance. Do oh yeah. <laughs> I I do enjoy dancing but um 
I think uh, as I got older, I mm -hmm. I like making music more, like composing songs more than dancing. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Comparing between singing and composing, which one do you prefer? Um, for me, if it's my own song, um, I can't really choose one because they both come together. Yeah. But yeah. I I really enjoy like comp composing mu music. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you got a chance to um, work as an actor. Oh yes, that was really fun as well. Yeah. Um, but I still knew deep in my heart that um, I had like my love for music was much more than acting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, can you share us more about your experience of being an actor? Um, How many have you performed? Um. like three i think for the main ones i think three but um um i had to i had to stop because i went to study in the uk I so see, yeah. i didn't have i didn't have a lot of time to do acting yeah to do the shooting um among the three what what which is your most favorite characters amongst the three i think the first one um The one with Pihoi as a Jan Kunku Tewada, because oh, I got to I got to play basically myself, I guess, because I I got to play like um, instruments in the scenes, which was really nice. Yeah. I see. How old were you at that time? It was 2015, so um, I guess 15, yeah, 15, 16. Oh, so young. <laughs> and then you back to study. So you have to like working and studying at the same time since you were yes. young. How did you manage that? Um, for me, I think managing time wasn't uh, wasn't really a problem. But um, I think sometimes I felt tired. But I was mm -hmm. lucky, so I had I could sleep in um my mom's van at that time, yeah. <laughs> like. In the morning, on my way to school, I would sleep to get some more rest as well. Yeah. Yes. I totally get that point. <laughs> I, mean, I sleep all the time in my classroom. Yes. As yeah. as you grow up, I think you get tired a lot easier. Yeah. Like when I was young, I had like swimming lessons, like math lessons, and I could still do them all in the day. Now yeah. it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm. Um, when you finish your grade 12, right? grade 12 and you have decided yes. to um, continue your study how come you choose to study in UK um, because my school was a British uh, British international school mm -hmm. so it kind of because in um, American schools you have like um, you have like exams every term mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I was pretty much used to um, the system of Um, having one exam at the end of the year, uh -huh. so so I could focus on other things in like in the start of the year, and then like in the last term I would just do do a lot of papers and stuff. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Um, but but why UK? Why why um, have you chosen to study in UK rather so, than study here in Bangkok? Um, I actually actually I at first I. I wanted to study here, and um, mm. I already got um, a place in um, Chula. But oh, really? I, yes, but I but I went um, I went to UK. I think because I wanted uh, first of all, I wanted to like test myself. Like I'd, I've never been like abroad by myself, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I think I think I don't. At first, I regretted coming to the UK, but. Now I look back and I think I'm really grateful for the things I've learned and for the friends I've met there and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, I, I also I also liked London because um, I support a football team which is based in London. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. That's not be the main reason, though. <laughs> no, no, it's not the main yeah. reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which faculty did you choose for to laugh? Um, EBA have econ. Sure. Why? 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 Um, Economics. Um, actually, I 
my 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 mom graduated from um econ to law as well and my my dad did as well oh and, yeah so i just wanted to but i i knew that i didn't really because i always knew that i didn't like um learning at all like i i knew i could i had to do it and i could do it but um mm-hmm. if i if i really wanted to i i would have went to like a music school or something mm-hmm. like that Mhm. Yeah. Mhm. Okay. Um and which faculty did you choose for the um at the university in UK? Um it's called management science where you, uh it's a new uh, it's quite a new faculty. You get to mm-hmm. learn about uh data analytics and stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. And do you enjoy studying at um the faculty? Um it was okay but <laughs> I just don't like um I just don't like it. because i kind of knew that what i wanted to, what what i wanted to do with my with my in the future so for me it was just like doing it for like my mom <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah i just wanted to make her like proud and go to a good university <laughs> yes 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 but um the thing that you mentioned like data analysis is very new and um kind of like very trendy in a way Oh yes. Um, yes. And it's going to be useful. I can feel that. I mean, it can oh, be I, applied to many things, right? It's it's useful for sure. It's very useful, but um I think in order for it to be useful, you have to have interest in it and you have to look at it more. But for me, mm-hmm. after after the lecture, I I didn't want to look at it. So but <laughs> I I know I, I had friends in my my class who were really good who who knew a lot of stuff and knew like outside knowledge outside of the class as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um <laughs> when you mentioned that at first, um you kind of like regret about your decision to go to UK. What what happened? Why do you feel it that way? At first. Um I, I don't know. I just, maybe I just missed I missed um Bangkok a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I missed I missed Bangkok a lot and um I felt like it wasn't really me. like yeah. that's how i felt yeah. but but i i just had to do it yeah i just had to man up and do it <laughs> yeah. yeah and what is the difference between studying in the international school in bangkok and international environment at the university oh it's it's a lot different i think you feel a lot more out of your comfort zone mm. it's a lot more out of your comfort zone and you get to do um you get to learn new new skills because even though you're in an international school in bangkok but when you mm-hmm. go home when you go come back home it's pretty mm-hmm. much the same as everyone else so mm-hmm. but when i'm there um i need to cook by myself sometimes and do things by myself <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh how, how was the um studying environment the class environment oh the class um it was different because from 20 20 uh classes of 20 people it changed mm-hmm. to like seven lecture halls of 70 or 80 students mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the pace was really fast but luckily mm-hmm. we had like videos so i could rewatch the lectures uh huh uh huh and and how 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 was um i mean the feelings how was um the reaction of the student in, in the class how was the lecturing any differences Um I think it was a bit different because everybody was we we were a lot older and um everything was a bit more serious I guess. Mhm mhm maybe yeah but for yeah. me it was just the same. <laughs> yeah yeah. Okay. Um and what happens after the COVID-19 Oh so um I had to come back to Bangkok early uh, mm-hmm. because um because of the situation in um there is quite worse. Yeah. And um so I came back in March but actually I was supposed to come back in um in like oh at first I was going to come back at the end of March and I moved mm-hmm. to come back to earlier earlier because mm-hmm. um it was it was quite dangerous i guess yeah yeah yeah, yeah and, and you um, haven't graduated right it's 
Um, I'm about to graduate. So it's, uh, you have to submit like um, online uh, assignments instead. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's pretty new. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then so, you will graduate it this year? Yeah, um, quite, uh, in, in June, in June. <laughs> Oh, soon. Yes. Yeah. I saw the clip video on um, the online, um, like, um, how to call graduation ceremony. Oh, yeah. Uh, on Men's Day. It's so uh, <laughs> weird with the robots and stuff. Um, They canceled our graduation ceremony this year. It was supposed to be in September, but they canceled it for a oh. students of my year. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. I thought that you expect the moment that your mom and your dad are gonna hug you and say they are proud of you. <laughs> um, uh, I think I'm trying to find other ways to make them proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and after your graduation, any plan? Um. I think I'm just going to focus on um, making music at the moment mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. many years to come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because before I didn't really have, like, all, now I can spend all all the time I have into this. So mm -hmm. it's really yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. One focus, one objective. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. So in terms of music, since you love it, um, what which style do you like it? The song that you love to listen to. Um, I like uh, I like to listen to hip hop music because mm -hmm. it really um, it's really fun, <laughs> it's mm -hmm, really mm -hmm. entertaining. But yeah. um, but the music I make is a bit different though. I like more R and B and more um, singing vibes than. Than rapping music when I make them, so it's a bit weird. <laughs> uh huh. And you prefer Thai song or international song? Um, I prefer. Um, I listen to both, but for me, <laughs> for uh, love songs, certainly um, Thai songs because I don't think, I don't think um, you could describe the feeling when, like, the Thai language hits you like with the with the lyric like. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't asked you about your English in UK. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how was that experience? No um, problem at all. Uh, I think it was, it was pretty much the same because, um, many of my friends also went to study in the UK, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I had pretty much the same friends, but. Um, <laughs> And new newer friends and um, uh, different environment, I guess. Mm -hmm. But the the teachers were because I was used to listening to um, teachers already in yeah. high school, so it was okay for me. Um, but did you get more chance uh, to speak English? Um, like it's I, getting more fluent. I think I got less chance to speak English because because in the class. In class in school, you would speak more because there are less students. But oh, right. in the lecture hall, I I was just sit like at the back. <laughs> yeah. But how about your everyday life? Um, I um I just have to speak English to like an, on a every on a daily basis. But mm -hmm. um, when I meet my friends, it's just the same because we're all Thai. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I. Yeah, but I try to speak as much as I can because I think it's really good. I was afraid I would forget how to speak English because yeah. as I as I as I grew up, I use uh, less of it. I could yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how did you keep practicing using English this day? You still type in English? Yes, I type in I, English. You text, yeah. Both, I text in both, and. Um, But I listen to videos in English every day, like every day, podcasts and interviews, all in English. Every day. Mm -hmm. Yes, every day. How about speaking? Um, 
I'm pretty much alone these days. So if I speak <laughs> English, it's it's like I'm speaking to myself. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you don't speak English with your friends, even though they study in UK or here or wherever. Um. Or sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes, but it's just mostly Thai. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. In terms of, uh, you mentioned about podcasts and video. What kind of video or podcast that do you like to listen to? Oh, like um, uh, artists in uh, international artists interview and just funny videos in English and um, people who I look up to mm -hmm. and their interviews. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any channel? Any any recommendation? Um, I watch a lot, so it's really hard to think of one right now. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Whatever comes up next, and I watch it. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I um, I would like to ask you about your quarantine since you just come back and gotta stay home. Oh yes. What What do you like to do at home? Um. So, I I like to switch it up between, um, playing games and making music. I think they're the best combo because <laughs> when I'm stuck, I do, I play games instead, and mm -hmm. so I have a fresh mind, so I can. Work on my music again. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's pretty much a routine life, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm um, in terms of music that you have, you you do all the process by yourself, right? Playing um, the music, composing the lyrics, everything. Um. Yes, but uh, now I'm focusing more on the lyrics and like the melody more Ooh. because um. Because I think I like composing. Because when I compose, I compose on the piano, and mm -hmm. if I think it's an okay, I think if it's an okay song, then I, mm -hmm. then I um like I further develop it into yeah. like uh, music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, when can we get a chance to listen to it? Um, I'm not sure yet, but I've I've been I've made many songs already. Because mm -hmm. I came back since March and it's May now. Yeah. So, yes, you'll have have to wait and see. <laughs> um, any channel or any where that we can stay tuned for that? Um, I'm I'm still not sure about that right now. Mm -hmm. So, I think when it's time, you guys will see my work. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One of the things that I'm I'm, I'm so surprised is. When I need to do the the photo of you and me, and oh. I went to your Instagram and I found out that oh my god, why there are so few of your photos? Um, like, if I'm your fans, I'm gonna miss you so much because I cannot see your face. And you're like, <laughs> I hardly see your face. Um, I I don't know. Maybe I think it was when I was in the UK and I was mm -hmm. alone, and I just wanted to find out uh find myself more and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i've just looked at my instagram and some of these pictures i don't think they represent me at all so i was yeah. just clearing those pictures up uh-huh but yeah. why don't you like post the new one the new you um because when when i was in uk uh mm -hmm. i didn't have a chance to take many pictures mm -hmm. and then when i came back it was already mm -hmm. Quarantine, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but one thing I knew is that next time that I met you, I would take a photo of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> take picture together. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, how come? You know. Yeah, I, yeah. I need more pictures. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, mm. and you also mentioned about the game. What game oh, do you yeah. like to play? Which game do you like to play? Um. I'm playing um FIFA because there's no foot a uh, football just came back but uh, yeah. before there was no football so I really missed it because when I was in the UK I went and mm -hmm. watched every home game yeah like every week <laughs> how how was the feelings of being being at the stadium it was a dream come true it was so I I was addicted to it it was so uh -huh. fun uh huh uh huh and 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 I've heard that um it's it's come back but The feeling has changed. For oh, the, because for, yeah. uh, German football is back, but 
um, there are no fans. So yeah. it's empty stadium. So nothing's the same without the fans, I think. Yeah. I've heard that some suggest that we should put like um, the sound effect of people cheering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That, that would be nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you play um, the FIFA. What else do you yes. play? Um, mostly FIFA right now. Oh, and mm -hmm. uh, Call of Duty Warzone mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. Pimon. <laughs> Pimon, we can smile. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. If people ask you what is um, the good things about playing games, what would you say? Um, it's just to relax your mind. Or some games don't make you more stressed out, I think. <laughs> But mm -hmm. um, it's just to... I think games help with your like hand eye coordination <laughs> mm -hmm. and um your creativity i guess i don't know <laughs> maybe mm -hmm. it's up to the games some games do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what else do you like to do rather than playing games and doing music um uh, once in a while i cook because mm -hmm. i kind of miss the feeling in the uk where i cook But now it's better because I get to cook with my mom. Wow. <laughs> What do you like to cook? What is your, like, um, how to say, the food that Go you like? Go to dish? Um, yeah, yeah. I guess steak. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um. how, 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 and any menu that you would like to cook with your mom that you haven't done? Um... Oh, I love I love food so much. There's so many, and I don't think I I have the talent to cook those dishes. <laughs> I just rather wait for um, the restaurants to and everything to be back to normal, and yeah, go yeah. eat. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what will be your first visit after quarantine? Um, I think. Probably my friend's house because I'm kind of miss my friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. we used to stay together a lot in the UK, so it's yeah quite different when I'm alone. Uh, uh -huh. Have you seen um, any GMM brothers of yours when you were back this time? Um, I've seen a few, but I I haven't really spent a lot of time with them. I was mm -hmm. I still like to spend more time with them when when the When this is over. Yeah. Um, it's been 30 minutes. How do you feel now? I feel like it's been five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a long while that we haven't updated anything. Yeah, I, I haven't seen you so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to go to, like, um, when I was in the boy band. We used to go to, like, work together. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of school to all around Thailand, yes. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can, uh, it's like you are growing up, you know. You, are, I think you the same. You are at the same age as my sister. Um, I'm 21 right now. Yeah, 1999, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, same age. Yeah. <laughs> Time flies. Yeah, I'm 29 this year. Oh, you still look very young. With this kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you look very young. Mm -hmm. I have to keep myself fresh. Because yes. I'm teaching kids. And um, sometimes I do feel the gap between me and the students. I need to like update everything. Like, you know, keep being mm. fresh. Yeah, That's yeah. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If people ask you how to kill all the bottoms, the feeling of being bored at home, what would oh. you say? Um, I'd probably say, um, for me, I think, uh, I I don't want to take things for granted. So like, there are many things at home that mm -hmm. you can do, and even like, uh improve or uh, renovating your house and rooms and stuff mm -hmm. and um mm -hmm. i just i think i kind of like my um like my bedroom a bit more i like my house a bit more because like mm -hmm. so 
we have to feel like that it's our it's where we can feel at home so just don't be bored i guess <laughs> mm -hmm. um and um a few a few questions left for me to ask you yes. and i and i think people expect this so um is there any tips of learning english for you from your experience um, um i think listening really helps Uh, listening and imitating um or uh the what people um which uh which people you look up to and speak english mm -hmm. and just copy what they say sometimes i guess mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that really helps i think mm -hmm. and as um, a person who got a chance to live abroad for a while three years right three years yes, already three years three years yeah. Um, for those people who are afraid of speaking to foreigners, what would you like um, to say? Just be confident, because if you're confident, and then it'll get better and better, and then, and then you'll just be fluent one day. Yes. Because many people, many people are afraid that um they won't able to understand us, the foreigners, the foreigners I won't. Get our accent, our choice of words, our way of speaking. Is that really happen? Um, I think, um, I think English is spoken by. Uh, it's not. It's not spoken only by English people in the UK. So there are a lot of other foreigners as well. We're foreigners, and there are a lot of other foreigners as well. Mm -hmm. So just try your best, and I think it's gonna be fine. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Last but not least, so um, any project that we can stay tuned? Any project? Um, I think. I think all I can say is, just wait and see. I guess I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, the way to update about your work is through your IG, right? Yeah, my Instagram. Yes. If mm -hmm. anything's updated, I'll definitely post on there. Okay. Any last words for your international fans and Thai fans here? Um. Well, I miss. I really miss like being outside and being having, having what I know having like projects for everyone to see. But I'm really working on something right now, so please be patient. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Vialis. It's Have... really incredible. And I hope to see you soon. Yes, I hope to see you as well. Thank you. Bye Thank bye. you. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Okay. Thank you, everybody, for um, listening to and joining our live session here, English with Alice. And we will be back on Friday at 8 p.m. So stay tuned. Bye bye. Have a good night. <laughs>